Are we going to see uh, a love, a potential long-term connection between Kelsey and Zane? What do you think? A long-term connection? Yeah, for the course of the season. <laughs> <laughs> Their relationship is totally like tumultuous, you know, yeah. they're like very competitive with one another, uh -huh. which adds to that like excitement, but also frustration. Um, and no, I don't think long term this is going to be, I don't think there's going to be like a proposal at the end. But Why not? <laughs> Why I don't not? know. I've, I've, uh, I've been the tougher one this season where yeah. I feel like in other seasons he was um, like kind of jerking me around a little bit mm -hmm. and you know, not being the nicest guy, mm. um, and not, like, n trying not to give too much away, obviously, but I think, yeah, it, you're softening a little, and Kelsey's being a little bit more of the badass. Yes. Yeah. I like it, though. Me too. <laughs> um, Charles, your character is sort of a bad boy. Mm. Do you love playing, do you like playing that? Apparently I do, because I, <laughs> a lot of people watch the show, and they go, you know, it's a common theme. You, you seem to play bad guys, but I don't. I don't really see them as bad guys. It's just that usually the common thread is that they're very ambitious. Like there's something within them that they just can't control. So in this on this series, it manifests as you know his actual ambition and wanting to to you know build and move forward. You know, maybe branch out on his own. Um, but to answer your question, <clears throat> yeah, I do enjoy it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you have. I feel like you have that like smile that where it's like, is he good? Is he bad? Yeah. We don't know. There's yeah. secrets in there. <laughs> there, there are secrets in there. Um, so one thing I'm curious about is, do you think that Kelsey knowing Liza's secret, she's the only one that knows Liza's secret right now. Mm -hmm. So do you think that will eventually affect her career if uh, the other characters, Diana and Charles, do eventually find out? So a very important character finds out very early on this season mm -hmm. about Liza's age. And one thing that's great about, or my favorite quality of this season is that that's not really the main problem on the show this year. So there's so many other like conflicts and things coming to a head. And uh, Peter Herman actually described it the best that every season leading up has been that, that like slow click going up the roller coaster. Mm -hmm. And now season five is like the, oh my God, we're going down, you know? So it's like a lot, a lot happens, but but somebody big finds out the secret, and it and it terrifies Kelsey because she's worked so hard and she doesn't know what the outcome is with how someone will respond. Mm -hmm. You know, and and both Charles and Diana are big factors uh, in how Kelsey's career goes. You know, they make a lot of choices with her imprint, and uh, even though she's doing better than Empirical right now, I feel like she doesn't want anything to mess it up, and. Um, Liza's a huge risk factor. Yeah, Liza's kind of a problem. Yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. She's um, a flight risk. She totally is. Uh, I love both the. I love your characters' fashion in the show, but both the men and women yes. have really fun fashion. Especially yours this season. Your suits have been sharp. Oh yeah. Oh, I love yeah. all the little dots that. Like, yeah, what's your suit with all the dots on it? It was a Gucci suit. I, it's I so think. fresh. But yeah, I got a lot of compliments on it. I'm like, I'm taking this thing home with <laughs> no. me at the end of the season. But yeah, they do a great job. I was going to say, do you guys ever, like, I would take all that stuff home, <clears throat> especially your stuff. So fun. No, at mm -hmm. the end of the season, we usually, I complain enough where I'm like, I walked in those shoes. <laughs> like, my feet are dead, yeah. whatever. Um, or I wore that horrible dress. Like, I want that jacket. <laughs> so usually if there's like two or three pieces that I loved. Um, they let me take it home, which is really nice. Mm -hmm.